seated. I'd like to inv invite Paula Wright up. Paula Wright, for those of you who haven't had a chance to meet her, she, she joined us here at St. Paul's in January. Uh, she was assigned here from St. Mary's Nixon to uh, do some exploration here, and part of her assignment to come here was to, um, to share the word with us one Sunday. And so today is that day, and so, Paula, we welcome you um, to the microphone. Thank you. Praise the Lord. On the morning of Saturday, April 6th, I delivered hot bread to my brother's place for his guests. And while driving across the Truckee River to where my brother lives, the Holy Spirit spoke to me, saying, go to your father's house. At that time, I was experiencing a personal hardship, and I could no longer go to my dad for comfort. I held back my tears. Go to your father's house was not my dad's house, but my heavenly father's house in here. Today's Father's Day, a national holiday honoring one's father as well as fatherhood, paternal bonds, and the influence of fathers in society. But today, let's take a peek into the kingdom of heaven. In today's gospel lesson, Jesus said, with what can we compare the kingdom of God or what parable will we use for it? In the gospel of Matthew, it's recorded that the disciples came and asked him, why do you speak to them in parables? Jesus answered, to you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been given. Lest they should see with their eyes, hear with their ears, lest they understand with their heart and turn so that I should heal them. There's a parable in the Gospel of Luke that talks about a father having two sons. And the older son stays behind with the father to work the land and to take care of the homestead. But the younger one wants to go away with his inheritance and go live life as he felt he was entitled to. So the father does give him his inheritance and the son leaves. Now imagine for a moment the father's heartbreak and the sadness and the lingering grief of his son leaving him forever. The father wept his tears for, and prayed for his son's safety. He prayed also that one day his son would return home. Go to your father's house, the place where there's compassion, forgiveness, healing, peace, joy, and fellowship with our Heavenly Father. Now, Father God, I come to you before with my wounded spirit, for only you can restore a right spirit within me. Father God, I love you and I praise you. I thank you for loving me, who I am in Christ. We understand Jesus' parables with our heart. We turn back to Jesus like coming home to our Father's house. Our love is renewed, our faith grows. It is where Jesus healed us from traumatic life experiences we have had on this earth. The gift of salvation is unconditional. We always have a seat at our Father's table. Go to your Father's house. The son arose and came to his father. But while he was still afar off, father saw him a great way off coming down the road and he had compassion. He ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. The, father's, the son's father said, it is right that we should make merry and be glad for your brother was dead and he's alive and was lost and is found. To you, 
It has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. In the things we do today to celebrate Father's Day, remember God's greatest gift of love by sending his only begotten son to be the living sacrifice to atone for our sins. Thank you, Jesus.